This Davis Instruments Tech Tip video shows you how to upgrade an EnviroMonitor gateway from CDMA, 2G, or 3G technology to LTE technology. To do so, you need an EnviroMonitor gateway LTE PCBA kit. Inside the box, you'll find a user's manual, the PCBA board to upgrade to, screws to attach the board to the gateway box, and some stickers to attach to the box. The tools you need to do the upgrade are a number two Phillips head screwdriver, a number three Phillips head screwdriver, and then something to pry the antenna off the inside of the gateway box. We'll use a flathead screwdriver. Okay, now we'll open up the gateway. Let's get started. To start, we're going to remove the power from the board and the battery, remove the screws that connect the cover to the PCBA board, remove the screws that connect the PCBA board to the box, pop the antenna off, remove this antenna, and take the entire board out of the box. Let's get started. Remove the power from the board, disconnect the power from the battery, unscrew the screws for the cover. cover should just lift right off. Now unscrew the screws that hold the board to the box. Unscrew the screws that connect the antenna, the cellular antenna. And if you take a flathead screwdriver and pop the antenna off the side, it's just connected with some sticky tape. You should then be able to lift the entire board out of the gateway box. To start, take your new LTE board, place it in the box. It should line up with several of the screw holes. The ones that you want to place in are here, here, and here. Screw them down snug, but not overly tight. You don't want to crack the board. Now place the new cover on the board. You want to make sure that the cellular antennas come out of the two holes on the side here. And that the other antenna comes out the hole on the side there. They should align up with two holes on the board. Again, screw these down so they're snug, but not too tight. Now, on the side of the cellular antennas, there's 3M tape. You remove the antenna, the tape from the antenna, place one on the upper side 
of the box, remove the tape from the other one, and tape the other one on this side of the box. You want them at a 90 degree angle from each other, not parallel. Now you take, there's two sticky points on this antenna, you remove the tape, and stick it to the side of the box. Now reattach the battery. And the power to the board. You should hear a click. We can see that the board is powering up. The new product comes with a set of stickers. For the inside of the box, apply the stickers to the front door. This sticker has the device ID on it. Remove the sticker, place it on the PCBA board cover, right there. Now we're going to use the replace function on the EnviroMonitor app to connect the data from the new PCBA board to the data from the original gateway. Select the name of the gateway. In the top right, go to the Menus option. Scroll down to the bottom and select Replace. You're replacing a cellular gateway. Now follow the directions on screen. Make sure that the blue light is blinking and that there is power to the board. Once the blue light is blinking, you can connect to the Bluetooth. You can keep the same name or rename the device. If you've moved the device, select a new location or keep the same location. If you have a cabled weather station, connect the RJ connector to the bottom right of the new PCBA board. If you have a wireless weather station, purchase a sensor link, product number 6868, to connect the wireless weather station to the new PCBA board. And your replacement is complete.